to What's it. What's very exciting, and I didn't comment on this meeting, but ROR1, as I mentioned, is an embryonic protein. And if you think about an early embryo in development, it has to form new organs. So cells have to go from one part of the embryo to the other part of the embryo and develop cells and develop a new organ. And so there's migration, there's establishment of a new colony of cells. And that's all very helpful because that's how we all got here. Um, I think cancer is in some ways replaying an old theme. Namely, a cancer cell is perhaps a cell trying to maybe survive longer. It's trying to set up a new organ somewhere else and it's trying to metastasize. What's very exciting for us is that we found not only that leukemic cells from patients of chronic lymphocytic leukemia express ROR1, but a variety of other cancers, uh, breast cancer, ovarian cancer, lung cancer, prostate cancer. And in fact, those cancers which appear to be most likely to spread uh, and metastasize or to recur after therapy tend to be the highest in expression of this embryonic protein which is actually very exciting for us because this survival signaling pathway may actually not be important only for leukemia, but also may be important for other types of cancers as well and help us to really attack the issues of how cancer spreads throughout the body and how cancer, so-called cancer stem cells are able to replicate and continue to divide and not be affected by uh, things such as cell senescence. I mean, cells have a lifespan, they typically grow old, and they only have a certain number of divisions, whereas a stem cell can divide through infinite numbers of times, and there's a biology for how that works. Uh, but uh, they seem to be conscripted, that biology, by cancer cells to form cells which can recapitulate the tumor after therapy, for example. So again, this is going back to understanding the leukemia that we know of chronic lymphocytic leukemia, and through a better understanding of one cancer, we might be able to define treatment strategies for other types of cancer, and maybe potentially provide therapies for patients that really have uh, actually a poor survival with current therapies.